I think there is one major problem for young Taiwan residents, and that is they don't pay much attention to politics. There are indeed some youths who know that actually Taiwan has been used as a chess piece by some American politicians for them to gain more political bargaining chips, but they choose to keep silent. Pelosi's move, of course, violates the three joint communiques reached between China and the United States. But why does she still choose to do so? Because she doesn't have many chips for the upcoming midterm elections. Zhang said that in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, economic cooperation and trade between Taiwan and the mainland, as well as people-to-people -people exchanges, have been gradually increasing. I think one thing that the Democratic Progressive Party did not tell Taiwan residents is that actually over the past three years, Taiwan's economy was severely hit by the coronavirus pandemic. It is because of the trade between the two sides that Taiwan could pass through those difficult times. However, most of media outlets in the island are controlled by the DPP, thus they have always distorted the facts regarding the mainland. That is why Taiwan youth sometimes cannot see a true mainland. In recent years, as a leader of young Taiwan residents who live in the mainland, Zhang has dedicated himself to reaching out to his friends and families in the Taiwan region. We're going to make a program to promote the mainland's culture to Taiwan residents. We would like to put it on social media platforms and let more Taiwan residents get to know about the mainland. The best way to smash those groundless rumors about the mainland spread by some Taiwan media outlets is to show a real mainland to them. And we believe through our efforts, more and more Taiwan residents would like to come to the mainland and take a look at its development. Chung says many Taiwan residents like him who live in the mainland are sharing a same idea. They believe the development of the mainland will ultimately benefit Taiwan and a peaceful reunification would be seen in the near future. Yu Yang, CGTN, Beijing.